Easy now, Walker. You are all right. This is Star Haven, home to peaceful adepts. There is a letter and a key to the door on the dresser. For surviving a dragon attack, you look well. The healer is doing an admirable job, yes? You're awake. Go. Zamarak is pleased to see you are awake. You have slept for many days, and this one feared the worst. Still, it is not every day that one walks away from a dragon attack. We both were. The caravan that brought us to Northern Elsewhere was attacked by the Great Beast. Luckily, the Adepts of Starhaven witnessed the event and came... A humble Adept, nothing more. That is not a tale that... Greetings. This one is Majadro. Grand Adept of Star Haven. He is glad to see you in good health, Traveler. It is not every day that one survives a dragon attack. Bright moons must have blessed your path. You were carrying the letter when we found you. It looked important, so we left it where you could find it. But how do you feel, Traveler? Did the dragon cause any permanent damage? Let us test your strength then, yes? Though this one is now Grand Adept, he once trained the warriors of Starhaven. Sadly, it has been many years since Majadro last sparred with a pupil. <laughs> Not here, of course. This is no tavern brawl. Collect a training sword and meet this one outside in the gardens. Let us prove ourselves where John and Jold can see us. Take up one of our training swords and meet this one in the gardens. This guy is warned of a changing season. Can you see it? This one fears the dragon that attacked you was only... Majadro can think of no better. Like the two divine moons that dance in harmony. Let the balance of your... Let us begin! Strike, a Solid strike! And another! A healthy blow! What sleek work! You strike well, but can you guard? Now! Quick! Strike while this one is a... a brutal hit! Once more! Swing with all your might! What a powerful blow! Shield yourself! Strike with force, Traveler! Such masterful strikes! But what if you are in distress? Now break free of this one's trap! Get ready for another! Here comes another trap! Now, press again! Press your advantage with a heavy attack! Again! Stop this one's attack! Interrupt this one before he strikes! If your enemy charges their assault, strike! Interrupt their attack and punish! How good it feels to spar with a student again! Come now! Let us continue to the Adaptorium! 
Wait. Did you hear that? The other adepts. Take the passage through the catacombs. This one must go on Zamarak. Another cut for our army! How grand! John and George, you arrived. Well, it looks like you've certainly recovered from your wounds. And just in time to put that Yoraxian Jekyll seat in his place. Ziswo, is this one grateful we found you in that wreckage? The soldiers said they were searching for something. 
but they barely gave us any chance to respond before they started attacking. It is best to leave. There is no reasoning with these maniacs. Yes, this one heard its terrible voice, like something out of a moon singer's stories. Ishadi had hoped to make her way to the Dragonhorn Tower, but she fears that fierce warriors now block her path. Not to mention the dragon circling overhead. Atop the tower sits the Dragonhorn, said to ground dragons with one mighty call. Though Ishadi is not sure if the legends are true, it is our best hope against such a brutal foe. All we need is someone to blow the horn. It seems folly not to try. Then you must exit the catacombs and follow the path north. There you will see the tower. This one cannot promise the plan will work, of course. The dragon horn is very ancient, very brittle. But we must try, yes? Moons be with us. We will wait until you have blown the dragon horn. If the dragon is subdued, that will be our best chance to escape. If not, well, we will try to be swift. That is good to hear. Ishadi feared the worst. If you see them again, try to stay by the Grand Adept's side. The dragon may be subdued, but not for long. This one fears for those inside the Adaptorium. Then Zamarak and the Traveler will go. You should take this chance to escape. Majadro will not run while his disciples are in danger. As you wish. Let us be quick then. The 
beast blocks our way. We must fight. Let us leave this place before the beast returns. Why did the dragon flee? It was called away. This one heard its name on the wind. Balok Dan. Called away? Do the dragons work together? Perhaps. At the very least, this dragon seems to have allied himself with the Euraxians. Then the rebellion has begun. Yes. This one is afraid it has. Come, Traveler. Let us speak. Thank you for saving Majadro's disciples. You have a courageous spirit. It will do you well should you decide to stay in elsewhere. And this one does hope you decide to stay. The Khajiit need heroes like you during these dark times. And only more to come, this one fears. Before you leave, you should speak to Zamorak. It seems that he's also decided to leave us. Perhaps he can help guide you to your next location. Walk. What will we do now? Starhaven is no longer safe. Starhaven is safe, but the danger is far from over. I fear there is still much to do, Walker. John and Joel will one day shine on Starhaven again. This. The letter you carried. Zamarak must confess that he read it while you were recovering. This one has heard of Abner Thar. He is a battle mage and former advisor to the Emperor. He seeks allies to stand against this rage of dragons. Zamarak wants to help the Khajiiti Defense Force, but he has something he needs to check on first. But you, Walker. Your aid would be immeasurable. Find Abner Tharn in Riverhold. Offer your assistance against the dragons.
No good can come of that blade. Greetings, Walker. You are not also going to the abode of ignominy, are you? As its name implies, it is a moonless place full of forgotten secrets. This one saw a stranger setting up camp outside the cave nearby. Local legend says that Mafala worshippers used to lurk there, raising dead too, I think. To venture so close to such a place, it does not seem wise. A Khajiit woman, Kathé by the look of her. She wore the attire of a sorcerer. But then I could put on a tin crown and claim that I am an emperor. She stays there heedlessly, or lingers with bad intentions. Here send you? Well, don't even try. Oh, well then, greetings. My name is Naramako, and I intend to walk right into this spooky cave and find the works of a brilliant Kajiti mage. Before you ask, yes, it is full of slavering, undead, and yes, I am petrified to the point of weeping. You mean to help? Well, I guess there's no harm in delegating. According to my research, a powerful wizard named Marzulajo used this place as his laboratory. If you find his notes and any memory stones he might have left behind, I would be indebted. Thank you for looking into this, Walker. I can't wait to rub this discovery in that sour-tongued Kaldathir's face. It's always be careful with this and don't meddle with that. He's just a fat old bully. A land of fertile valleys and grand hills. Uh, but enough about Rajin's past romances, yes?
Sugar snout, my sweet boy. I don't. It's not fair. You were so young, so young. I'm going to fix this boy. I'm going to bring you back. I promise. Intended. What did I do wrong? This isn't you, sweet boy. This isn't you.
Now, this is a little unorthodox, but I just felt horrible about what happened. Bringing you back to life is an imperfect solution, I know, but I am confident you'll get used to this uh, um, new beginning. This instant, please! I can fix this. I just need to paint a restraining wall to... Stop! What are you doing, Zorir? No, 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 no! No, don't do that! Don't do that! Ah, ah. Yeah. <laughs> 
Holmes, you're back! Not that I had any doubts, mind you. So, success? Did you find Marzula Joe's notes and memory stones? A cinch tiger? That's remarkable! If he managed that, the frog should present no challenge at all! Thank you so much, Walker. When I publish about this, I'll be sure to mention your contribution. <laughs> I can't wait to see the look on Kaldathir's face. I wonder how long after death you can perform these rituals. Do you think they would work on something smaller, like a mosquito? So many questions. We don't have a choice, Izanji. And what? You expect us to just stroll into an Akaviri crypt? Be reasonable. Well, if we don't recover those mural pieces, who will? Welcome to the House of Histories. You'll find no grander collection of curiosities and memorabilia in all of elsewhere. I would offer you a tour, but we're currently investigating a most unfortunate theft. An ancient mural called the Rithana di Renada, otherwise known as the Song of Kingdoms, 
It chronicles the time when elsewhere were 16 United Kingdoms working in harmony. Unfortunately, it was shattered when the kingdoms entered into conflict. Yes, into exactly 16 pieces. My brother and I found and restored each and every one. And then, just as we were about to put all the pieces together again, they were stolen. Who would even do such a thing? Thank you for offering to help. Oddly enough, the thief did leave a note mentioning a grave of snake men. I suspect it refers to the Tomb of the Serpents, an old Akaviri crypt. Hopefully that is where you will find the missing pieces. Greetings, Walker. Have you a moment to speak? 